Welcome to our Christmas Bake Off. We are so excited to make some Christmas cookies with you today. We have all kinds of different treats. I believe I have five recipes coming for you. And we're starting off with the kids' favorite, and Kyra will be coming. She's actually picking out some sprinkles for the cookies at the store with Josh right now. So the kids will be in and out helping me. This is one of our favorite memories to make together. We are going to get started with the classic Christmas sugar cookies. We're going to take two cups of butter. Hudson, do you want to put it in there? And put it into the mixing bowl. This is the mixing bowl. Mm -hmm. All right, as well as three cups of powdered sugar. I much prefer using xylitol or maple syrup or things like that. Christmas tends to be an exception for some of that, but some of our recipes will have xylitol or maple syrup and you can do whatever you want. Just some healthier options if you are interested. Yeah, you can lock it and let's see you can turn it on. And then we're gonna add two eggs. Let's see, do you wanna dump those in? As well as three teaspoons of vanilla into here, and then we'll mix this up again. And then we're gonna add five cups of all-purpose flour. as well as two teaspoons of baking soda and two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Leslie, can you turn it on? And then we'll pop the sugar cookie dough in the fridge and chill it for one to two hours. Next we're gonna make gingerbread cupcakes. Gingerbread cupcakes. <laughs> That's right, we're getting ready to put together some gingerbread cupcakes. These are so cute and so festive. And I was trying to be mindful when I was putting together the list of things we wanted to make today, what all the different flavors are of Christmas. So we obviously have the traditional sugar cookies, we have some gingerbread, and then we have cranberry chocolate stuff coming later as well, trying to hit on as many of the Christmas flavors as we can. And mommy's but, beautiful nail. <laughs> But we are going to throw these together. So we're going to start with three cups of flour. Along with our spices, this one has one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, and about a half teaspoon of salt. And then this one has four teaspoons of ginger, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of cloves. <laughs> Good. Okay, and then I have about one cup of xylitol. Again, if you want to use sugar instead, you can, but we're going to mix that. So can you turn it on for me? We're going to add one cup of buttermilk, as well as three teaspoons of vanilla, whoops, and four eggs. Let's have some more eggs. Yeah. Can I do the last one? How about mommy does it for this? I bet you can dump them in and then you can turn the mixer on. Now we're going to turn the mixer on. How high? Medium. Medium. Next we need to dump all these dry ingredients back in here. And then mix that all together. Sound like fun? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Like that? That's good. And then we'll pop these into the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. My plan 
for these was actually to make little gingerbread men and stick them in on the side. I saw a picture of it, super cute. I am running out of daylight already, so I just did an easier version, which is just putting a little chocolate square on the top and then a little sprig of rosemary. So super fun and festive still, but these are the gingerbread cupcakes. Next up is one of our favorite recipes all through the year, and it is our chocolate chip cookies. This basic recipe we use so much. It's our favorite. Kids love it for snacks. Josh likes to snitch one before he goes to the barn, and we love having these on hand. But I thought it would be fun to make them for Christmas with a little Christmas twist. So we're gonna bake them, and then we're gonna decorate them, adding a little bit of a Christmas flair. So to start with, I am going to put one cup of butter and cream it with one and a half cups of xylitol or like I said before you can use sugar as well as one teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt and then we are going to cream this. Also going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and then we're going to add two and a quarter cups of flour. For the chocolate chips in these cookies, I like to often just chop up a kind of chocolate bar, baking chocolate, something like that. Today I am using these Divine chocolate bars uh, and I'm just going to chop those up and then we're going to add two cups of those into the batter. Can I take a little nibble of the chocolate? Josh and the big kids went outside to do some drives in the woods. So the little girls are having fun looking by the windows now and seeing some deer run out of the woods. I am using a normal sized cookie scoop, but what I love to do to get kind of that coffee shop look is actually I stack them double. It just gives them that kind of gourmet feel, that big cookie that you see in coffee shops. So that's what I'm doing with these and then I'll pop them into the oven at 375 for about 8 to 10 minutes. We got our chocolate chip cookies here and I think what we're going to do with these, I melted some chocolate, we're just going to dunk them in there, take some ground up candy canes and sprinkle them on the side just to give a little bit of a festive flair. But basically what you want to do is make one royal icing that's a thicker piper icing if you're new to sugar cookie decorating and then 
you'll make the same recipe again, only make it thinner, and that will be the like filling or the flood icing, which normally that would be different colors if you want colors. That's what you do all your decorating with. And then you'll let that dry maybe half an hour, and then you can come back again with a piping texture. This is like the texture of toothpaste. <laughs> you can come back and make designs and whatnot on there. That gives that nice, glossy, smooth finish on the sugar cookies. So this is the part the kids have been so excited for. So I'm gonna pipe it and then we'll invite them in and we'll all decorate them together. baking done that I was going to. I guess I will just have to include the other recipes maybe in upcoming vlogs, but my daylight is gone. So I am going to clean up this mess now and get supper going. I hope today's video was helpful to you. Maybe gained some inspiration in your Christmas baking this year and maybe even inspired you to do something fun and special with your kids. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends. Go then. Golden thing.